Hello. In this video, we are going to learn how to upload our webcam footage to our Google Drive. We are going to set up a server for this. I recommend you don't use your Raspberry Pi and some other machine because the Raspberry Pi is already running the webcam server and it will probably overload the Raspberry Pi. I'm using a Windows laptop which I have installed Ubuntu on. First, I'm going to SSH into my laptop. To do this, I'm going to open up Terminal and I'm going to type in SSH, my laptop's username, at, and my laptop's IP. I'll ask for the password. I'll type in my password. Sorry, I'll clear this. Okay, so first things first, we're going to have to install packages. The first thing we're going to have to install is G Drive, G Drive, which is basically a Google Drive client for Linux. To do this, we're going to type in wget and then this URL. I'll have the URL in the description of this video. When I press enter, it's going to take some time. Okay. Now it's in downloaded. It's downloaded into a really weird file name, so we're going to have to rename it. So we'll type in cp and then the file name, which is starting with a u, so I'll just press tab then. And to maybe drive package. Enter. Sorry, I have to sudo it, so sudo bang bang to uh, um, sudo the past command, enter, I'll type in my sudo password, okay. So now we're going to have to actually install the package. To do this we're going to type in sudo install drive package, because that's the, what we just named it into slash user slash local slash bin slash drive enter okay it's installed it now if you type in drive it's gonna tell you it's gonna give you a link you're gonna have to open that in your web browser it's gonna give you a code and you're gonna have to put that in that's basically to sign you into this machine now when I type in drive, it's going to write something different because I've already signed it. Okay, so the second package we're going to install is called SSH Pass. What SSH Pass does is it allows you to SSH into a machine in a shell script. This is useful because we're not going to actually tell it exactly when to go into the Raspberry Pi and get the video. It's going to automatically do that every minute. So we're going to type in sudo at get install ssh pass enter okay now we're going to install ffmpeg which is basically a command line utility to convert video motion encodes its video in the swf file format we would like a more common one like mp4 so we're going to convert it into mp4 to install FFmpeg, it's just sudo apt-get install FFmpeg. Enter. Okay, it's installed. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make two directories which the shell script will use to store files. These are called media and video. So we'll type in make dir media and make dir video done now we're going to actually make the shell script the first thing we'll have to do is download it open up your web browser go to shaunak.github.io slash download slash livestream slash camera dot sh sorry this um website and link will be on the description of this video so you'll get it there enter it's going to download this file camera.sh 
First thing we'll do is we'll open it. Download Canada SH. Open. Things you'll have to configure are your Raspberry Pi's IP. In my case, I'll type in 192.1.161. And I'll type in the username of my server, which is Shawnuck. You should type in your own because it will use that for the directory. Command S. So now what we'll do is we'll just copy this whole thing. Command C. Open our terminal. We'll type in sudo nano camera dot sh. Enter. We'll paste it. Done. So now we're going to have to make a shell script that will run inside the Raspberry Pi to move all the files that Motion has created to a directory called Videos. To do this, you're going to first have to open a new window of your terminal, type in ssh pi at and whatever the IP of your pi is, enter, put the password, and you're in. So the first thing you're going to do is make a directory that your shell script will use called videos. Make dir videos. Enter. The second thing you're going to do is actually have to make the shell script. So sudo nano motion camera dot sh. Now you're going to have to download it from the internet. So go on Chrome. Go to shawnak.github.io slash download slash livestream slash motion camera dot sh. This link will be in the description of the video. It'll download it. So now, pick up your downloads. Sorry. Just open it from Sublime Tech. Motioncamera.sh. So, what you're going to have to do is just copy this whole thing, Command C, and go in here, Command V to save. And then uh, Control O, enter to save. Control X to exit. So, now what you're going to do is you're going to just exit out of here. So, type in exit. So now, over here, if you run the shell script, it should upload all the Swift files that Motion has created to um, the Google Drive. So, type in sh camera dot sh. And by the way, if you haven't, it hasn't detected any Motion yet. It won't have any Swift files, so it'll say star dot Swift not found. It should say something like this. Might take a while. There, FFmpeg is converting, and as you can see over here, uploaded, it uploaded a Swift file over here. Amazing, right? It worked. So, now the next thing we have to do is we have to make the script run automatically every couple of minutes. In my case, I made it run every minute because I felt like I would like it ever I would like it almost instantly on my Google Drive. I would like that the video almost instantly. So, to do this, there's a tool in Linux called CronTab which will allow you to execute a command every couple of minutes or in a, a specific increments of time. So, to edit your CronTab, you type in CronTab 
the E flag to edit, enter. Now, what you do is you go down, and there's a code that you have to put. Crontab is in a weird format. It's hard to understand really the format, but I have the Crontab already made. So go on your web browser. I'll have this link in the description too, sean at kdoggithub.io slash download slash crontab or slash live stream slash crontab dot txt. Okay, just copy this, command C, go in your terminal, paste it, and your username. So in my case, it's Shauna. Control O, enter to save. Control X to exit. It's going to install that cron tab. Now, if you look up 10 minutes later, you'll find a lot of files in your Google Drive. And you'll notice that it's instantly, every minute, it's uploading all the new files that Motion creates when it detects motion. So, for example, if I go to my drive.google.com, I can see all these files. Google Drive takes some time to process them, but it's awesome, right? It's in your Google Drive. You can see it from anywhere. Thank you. In the next video, I'm going to teach you how to make a Python file and use Node.js so that it will automatically email you whenever it detects motion. It's going to be awesome so that whenever it detects motion, and if you don't want it to detect motion, you don't want anyone to be near that camera, you'll just get an email. Amazing, right? Thank you. Bye.